A tiny school district two and a half hours south of Dallas has faced a statewide embarrassment. The Sydney ISD School Board has not held an election in years, and board members weren't sure of their term limits. The Dallas Morning News watchdog Dave Lieber is here to give us more insight into this rather curious investigation. Dave, good to see you. So tell okay. us, how on earth did a school board not hold elections? Well, you know, there's 1,024 school districts in the state of Texas in 254 counties, and so some of them are real small. And this one in Sydney ISD in Comanche County, they went 10 years without holding an election, and they went 15 years without certifying a legal school board member. So for 15 years, their school board members basically served illegally on the school board. Oh. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, why didn't anyone in the community or local election officials, why didn't they raise any flags? Well. That's a great question, and I asked that to the circuit, the uh, district clerk of the county, and she said, hey, it's not my job to police them. They're supposed to know what to do. The superintendent, a fellow named Doug Bowden, said, well, you know, I never attended any workshops at Texas Education Agency, so I didn't really know what the rules were. But, you know, to me, as a watchdog at DallasNews.com, this is a complete breakdown of the democratic principles. The people didn't get a chance to vote. Now, sure, small school districts have a hard time getting people to run for office. We mm -hmm. understand that. But still, they were really missing the ball here for more than 10 years. And your column on Dallas News uh, mentioned a new special investigations unit. What is that? Mm -hmm. That, Katie, is really what's important here. The Texas Education Agency, in response to the cheating scandals in the El Paso School District about three or four years ago, they started their own like CSI, their special investigations unit, where they have investigators who like go to the school districts and investigate the most serious problems they can come up with. And they've done about 10 different school districts. This one with Sydney is the most interesting, I think, because of the fact that they lost democracy there. But also Dallas ISD was the first one that they did because they found out that in Dallas ISD they weren't doing fingerprint checks of, of employees. So this is a really great development for all of us who care about public education, that there is a unit now in the Texas Education Agency that's two years old that's looking into these serious problems. It'll be interesting to see what else they uncover and what you do as well. Dave Lieber, we always appreciate your insight. And, of course, if you want to know more about Dave's reporting, you can go to DallasNews.com. Thank you, Dave. Thanks, Katie. Bye-bye.